What is a poppin you guys? A welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Melissa and in today's video, it's very special. We get to go behind the scenes and spend some time at my absolute favorite place on earth, Audrey's of Naples, a vintage consignment store that I've been going to for many, many, many years, literally many years, like 10 years. I got to talk to the owner and learn the ins and outs of running a consignment store, how they got to where they are today, and I even got to have a little sneak peek of her 1800s collection. Guys, you guys, you guys are gonna be shook and of course i had to try on some of my favorite pieces for you guys so without further ado let's get into the video hello everybody welcome back to my channel i have such an exciting video for you guys today so today i am vintage shopping but i am vintage shopping at one of my favorite stores ever in naples florida it's called audrey's i've been here been coming here for like 10 12 years now anytime i come here my parents have a place in naples and anytime i come here i have to hit up audrey's it's literally my heaven it's literally my favorite store ever so we're going to be doing a little video and working with them today and you know learning the ins and outs of working in a vintage store how you know the whole vintage stuff works you know do a little personal shopping for myself of course as well but I'm super excited so yeah this is literally a dream collaboration for me because guys you guys know if you guys have watched my thrifications you guys know I always come to this store like I am obsessed with Audrey's and it's just it's just a dream of me mine so I'm super excited and we're gonna go do a little bit of shopping today uh, let's go Hello everybody. Hello. Do you want to introduce yourself? I am Quendi Tyler, uh, or are they? Uh, owner are they? of Audrey's of Naples. Yeah. I think I was 16 when I first came and now I'm 25. Wow. So I think I've been coming here for I guess 10-ish years and every time I come because my parents own a place here I have to make a trip to Audrey's, my favorite place. Really old Audrey's of Naples. If you guys ever come to Naples you need to come here. If you've been here, you know why. It is literally the best store in this whole entire, in, in the state, in Florida. It has so much beautiful vintage stuff. Like, it's just so much fun. It just, like, makes me so happy being here. Okay, we're in my very favorite store, Audrey's. It's like a vintage heaven. So, oh, I'm a little burnt. Thrifting, thrifting, from time to shop, shopping. Um, I have not been to Audrey's, if you guys don't know Audrey's. It's like my favorite little store ever in Naples. They have like bougie ass stuff. So we're gonna go there. It's downtown Naples. It's the grand opening today actually because they had to close and now they're reopening. So we're gonna go check it out. On my way to my fave consignment store. Going into a vintage shop now because this is for me. So we are at Audrey's vintage shop. So we're gonna go check her out. What's it gonna take for you to show? Take for you to show fee. We're gonna do a little, a little shop with us, a little, you know, get to know the owner and get to know how she runs everything, and you know, get her, get to know her little story that is really interesting. So we'll talk about that in a second. Thanks for doing it. Yay! Thank you for having me. Okay, so how did you get started, and like, what? How did you get here? Okay. All right. Do you want the Cliff Notes version? I could do like speed version of it, but it's a long story. However, you want to tell it. Thanks. 
you, it's a long story. Uh, some of it is fantastic, some of it is all tragic. Yes. But it starts off fantastic because my mum and I actually started business together in 1991, so a million years ago. Oh, no. And we didn't have any capital. We were, mum was working at Revco, I was working as a, as a waitress. Yes. And we had no capital to start, you know, to uh, put inventory in the store with. Yeah. So mum said, you know, I've heard about this thing called consignment where you can literally put your own things in there and uh, you don't have to let out like, any money, you just sell off the people's stuff, you know? Yeah. So it's like, great, but how do we start it? So yes. mum actually got a loan from a bank that she um, procured using her car, which was a an old Volkswagen Rabbit, and she managed to get $4,000 from the bank using her car as collateral. <laughs> And that's how the business started. Isn't that crazy? Oh my God, that's so cool. On a shoestring. So after that, uh, we ran that place for about 15 years, and then we got hit by a hurricane. Hit by a hurricane. And the hurricane, hurricane. Where were you? We were in Pensacola in northwest Florida, okay. in the Panhandle area. Okay. And so we got hit with a couple bad hurricanes, but this one was particularly bad, and it flooded us out. It literally okay. turned the place into a swimming pool. Oh. And uh, the vintage. Oh my God! Exactly. Did, did it all like? Yes. You lost all. Most of it. The only things that survived was the 1970s polyester. So. All all of the really, really valuable like 1920s silk gowns and 1930s sack dresses didn't that were made toast. Oh. Yeah, didn't make it. So um, anyway, we survived that. Mum ended up retiring, or thought she was going to retire, down here in Naples. And so, because uh, she had no investment property, yeah. so she said, look, I'm out of this. I turned my hand to painting full time for, the, for about uh, those few years after yeah. the hurricane until I decided to move to Naples. By that time, mum had become bored, and so she bought another consignment shop. And it was a very small one. It was like no money because it was just a small furniture consignment shop. No okay. clothing, no jewelry, no nothing. Oh, okay. So, of course, every time I'd come visit, I'd say, mum, let's put some clothing. Let's put a little bit of jewelry in here. Let's do this. So it started to develop more into clothing, and that's yeah. probably when you started to come visit us. Was that the old place? Yes. Oh. It was down the street. It was on 10th Street North, and yes. it was... Um, in old Naples, yeah, and it's this tiny little. You know, but I still thing. loved it. It was homey. It had it some was, soul to it. Yeah, it had some soul. It had some yes. love. I agree completely. So you just walk cool. in, and it's just like it takes you back to a different era. Especially, we'll show you the room back there. I want to know all about that room. Oh, that's a fun room. That's, that's right that's up your alley. Room. That's, that's my favorite room. That's my favorite room. Yes. <laughs> yes. I walk in there, and I'm like, oh. Well, that's how we got started. Was with vintage clothing. The first store that we had was just strictly vintage clothing. Yes. And then, literally, yeah. mum in, in Pensacola, mum branched off. She opened up an antique mall and then I ran the clothing uh, store which oh, was downtown okay. that was the one that got flooded so um, that was uh, and we were just wrecked we had no flood insurance nothing so but here's the that's the tragic part yeah. so the tragic part's over <laughs> everything else is fine from here on up. so uh, mum still comes in she makes a cameo appearance from time to time oh, and she I is cute as a oh my god she loves her everybody loves her the meter but, um, but she uh, soon as we got, got into somewhat retirement yes and uh, she was always into the antiques and the furniture anyway not so much the clothing you so, like the clothes and the yes, shoes. Yes, I did. Oh, me too. So <laughs> guess what else happened? So in the meantime, my little cupcake niece, Ashley over here, talking, she came one summer and helped out. She kind of liked it. Now this kid's a brain. She is an absolute brain. She's, she's a sweetheart. Too. She's yeah. the square and I'm the round. So if okay. you can picture that, right? Okay. She's science, I'm art. So I'm the crazy side. She's the, you know, the nuts and bolts of the... So here's what happened. She could have been anything she wanted to be. Yeah. She started working in the consignment yeah. business and fell in love with it. And so now, she and I run the store together. So we're co-owners of, uh, of all and that's how you create such a good business you both bring different skill sets and that's how you create a good business so you offset each other in the right way big time we're very very lucky uh, in that respect because we don't step on each other's toes yeah. because she lets me do my creative thing yeah. I let her do her little you know wonky yes. stuff and count money and do her talks and things yeah. like that so you got to have both really yeah. to, to really flourish as a business yeah. and so I think that's been the secret of our success a lot so, and it's not you noticed but the girls that we have working on the nicest yeah. Yes. Yes. yes, they'll come up to you and just be like, you need a room, are you good? Like, you want any help? Like, always on top of everything, and like, they make you feel so welcome, and like, you know, do you want a mimosa? Like, anything sure, like that. Like, have a coffee, yeah. on the rocks, whatever yes. you want, come in. So, always a party here at Walter's, yes. that's what's great about And it's it. always busy. I'm sure if everybody makes it part of their trip, or even if you live here, to like, visit Audrey's, because like, it's just, it's so welcome. I, I love it. it. So I can't stay away. I can't stay away. That's the thing. You like coming here? Yeah. I like working here. That's so I get up every morning and I'm okay. I mean, yeah. I never, it's never time I'm like, oh, I gotta go to work. work. I just yeah. love it. So that's how you know you're in the right business for yourself. Yeah. So, and I've been doing this for, well, since 1991. So, yes, I started when I was six years old, everybody. <laughs> 
Yeah, get to work. Yeah, that's what she said. <laughs> that's right. Don't jump. No, if you like consignment, it really has to be in your blood. Though you have to enjoy retail. You have to yeah. enjoy people. That's number one. People. Because it's not about selling stuff so much as being of service to others. Yes. Because you're providing a service to people. You're, you're basically when you're doing consignment, you're managing other people's stuff. And yeah. So you basically have like thousands of business partners. Yeah. Them. Because if they bring their things into you, they're trusting you with their Chanel handbags, their fine jewelry, whatever yeah. it is. You you got to do a good job for them. Yeah. So you're basically working for them as well as the customers that come in and want to purchase from you. Exactly. So. And with the customers, like I'm sure, you know, I'm you guys watching all love vintage and thrift and stuff, and a lot of you guys do resell or whatever. And um, same with me is like you find a, an amazing piece or you sell an amazing piece to somebody. It's more than just selling the piece to. It's like it's like you're adding something to their wardrobe, and you know, just the like happiness it brings when somebody buys something. No question. It's just like nothing beats that it's no like question. it's like oh my god like this chanel handbag or this gucci or the, the pair of shoes that they bought like just made their whole month or week and it yeah just, it makes you so happy it does it that. can change the trajectory yes. of your mood yeah you know uh, shopping is particularly in when you go in a brick and mortar store because it's different you know now that we have so much online shopping and anybody yeah. can pretty much buy anything they want yeah. online right the key is is how do you create a shopping experience for people where it's more than just about procuring an item it's actually the whole feeling when you walk in the store the whole service that you get from people the yeah. visual inspiration that you get from how things are merchandised I mean it's all really part of this um, epic experience you can have when you go into a good shop it's the experience here guys I'm telling you like you walk in here and you're in a whole different world and you're just like ah, I just want everything and everything's beautiful and just like the way it's laid out obviously because you're going to see a lot of you have to cut like it's just like the environment and the energy and everything that just makes you so it makes me so happy. So. Thank you. It takes a village. It does take a village. So we have um, and my, one of my main criteria is when people come to work or come to uh, apply for a job here, yeah. they have to love people. They have yeah. to be a people person. Yeah, it's impossible. Yeah. All right. You want to look around? Yeah. Cool. Let's, let's go, go a little with the vintage room. Yeah, let's go in the vintage room. Yeah. yeah, my favorite part. <laughs> All right, guys, we're in my favorite room. You guys will see the cameo over top of this, but this is the vintage room. Okay, so you need to tell us about this. Fantastic room. Everybody that likes vintage is going to get a warm and fuzzy feeling when they walk in this. I'm literally standing and I'm like, I have goosebumps just being in I here. I'm like, I just because it's so exciting. Ah, I love it so the much. The lighting and everything. So when um, I set the store up, because we were lucky enough to get the space. Yeah. Like, we're still in downtown Naples, in, yeah. in the heart of uh, old Naples. Yeah. And um, it's, it's just a really, really kind of like metal prefab building, right? Yeah. So it's basically um, it's just one big open space. You I still gave me the warm and fuzzy feeling yeah. there with this. Because you had a little, you had the the same vintage area as well. Yes, we did, and it was about the same uh, size square footage. Yeah, as well. and it was also in an old building, too, yes. an old like warehouse type yeah, building. Yeah, right? yeah. So, and not a pretty warehouse building. One thing, pretty metal. I loved it. Thank it was you. the original, so I love it. Coin, no, I coin. loved it. Um, so no, but it, it, the thing is, is to how do you make a, a space feel good, right? So yeah. you want to put some paint on the walls. You want to give it a cheery color, maybe. Yeah. And uh, I have this large collection of um, chandeliers. I have like a chandelier fetish. But I love them from all different ages because lighting is so important, right? I didn't even notice these fruit ones. I know. The, the fruit. See? The, it's like grapes, I think. I know, that's right? It's so cool. It's all this. Everywhere you look, there's always something interesting, uh, interesting to see. But um, the key is, is like, with lighting, it can really change and elevate a mood. It can make yes. you feel different. I, you know, I can't stand these sterile kind of like LED trougher lights that's everywhere in yeah. the stores today. It's and too it, cold. Oh, yeah. Don't you find it changes yeah. the color of, a, of an item as well? Yes. It distorts the color. So in the vintage room, we want it to feel kind of warm and old school glamour and kind of sexy yes. and you know. Yeah. And so it's a little uh, lower lighting in yes. here, but it just it feels good. It right? does. Yeah. It feels so good in here. Yeah. And yeah, you're right. I noticed. Something new every time I come. I'm like, was it here last time? Was it not here last time? Maybe. Like, every time I come, there's something new. It's just like filled with artwork and like dresses and the gowns. Guys, the gowns. I'm like, I need somewhere to go because yeah. I'm like, these gowns are incredible are. here. Let's just make a place. Let's just, just, just come up with something. I know. Like a ball or like a, something to go to because 
I mean, with COVID, we had nowhere to go, and now I'm like, I just want to, we should just throw a big party, and everybody comes in a nice gown. Have you noticed that? Do you think that um, after COVID, people are starting to feel like they want to get um, gussied up again? Yeah. More so than they did pre-COVID? Yes. I th I'm thinking that. I'm thinking I that. talked about that um, on one of my videos, and I was like, you know, we were stuck in sweatpants and all yeah. that for so long, and now everybody wants to, you know, branch out with their fashion a little bit more, which I love, yeah. which is something that happened after the Great Depression. Oh, when, where there was like the boom of like you know people started to wear more like I think movie star glamour yes, was big yes. in the 30s and, and stuff and that's what's yes. happening I think it's going to come a little bit now yes. where I've been seeing actually people you know buying for me it's been like a little bit more like oh adding like fun flashy items to their wardrobe a little bit you know like not on the tacky side but the like more like crazy out there items have been so yes, a little bit I agree more, more colorful lighter colors yes. sequins yes. things that just feel a little bit more glamorous and feel good yes I, yeah. I think I think people just want to kind of get dressed up a little bit now I'm noticing yeah. our um, an uptick in our sales of all of our cocktail dresses and all of our uh, gowns and things like that See? the girls at work we keep threatening saying hey let's make it a gown day maybe come to everybody <gasps> everybody work in a gown yeah. Day. It's so fun. Yeah. Do you have a favorite? I would love to do it. I do. I actually have, oh my god, I have a ton, I have a ton of favorites. I'm a big fan. I'm kind of born a little bit. I tend to wear very plain colors. And so I'm not boring. I'm terrible. Not boring. Um, <laughs> inside I'm not. Outside I'm not. very boring. So I'll wear like uh, Kiara Boney. I like her dresses because okay. I like the structure of them and I like the fitted kind of nature okay. of them and the fabric. You'll have to show me. Yeah, I, I absolutely did. And they look, don't look very much on a hanger, but they're very much structured to flatter a female form. Okay. And I'm sure I'm five two and I'm just I'm kind me of a little bit on the dumpy side. So uh, anything that can help me have some curves. We love curves. But um, so you used to like coming to the vintage room in the, in the old place. Yeah. And we still get a lot of vintage in because we have a lot of local people that bring it to us too. Which so. is crazy that it's still always floating around. Well, I mean, Naples is like older too. Yes. So you're in a great part. Yeah. So, yeah, do you see some really cool things? And do you ever make heat stuff? Do you ever, do you have your own collection? Like, do you? Yeah. Yeah. Well, kind of. I have a bit of a jacket fetish. And oh, fetish. okay. So I have an overabundance of coats in my house oh. that I will probably never, ever wear. But yeah. I have a weakness for coats. Yes. Uh, so what is it called? Like, like interesting. I like some things that have like fur trim on them. I like some of the old astrakhan fur uh, colors. Yeah. I like okay. cashmere coats. Oh. Uh, you know. So anything that feels luxurious and rich and has a really nice color to it, you've got to still have a soft yeah. coat. Which is so. funny because we're in Florida and it's hot. And you love coats. And that's the problem. And I don't like cold weather, so I'm not <laughs> likely to go anywhere cold either. So, so you just wear them in the house. I should wear them around here. You know what's funny? Good for you. Good. Good. Basically, keep it so cold. The girls like it kept cold. Yes. yes. And our customers in here. Wow. Well, and then so I'll go around it in the middle of summer. It's freezing in here. So I'll put on like a you know a full length coat of some kind or something. Yes. Yes. I know. Right. Gorgeous. Everybody should show some stuff, right? Because I'm sure people look at it. So I don't know what the process is for this, Melissa, but you see how they've got these little stars in here yes and this is a sheer link right and then this these stars I don't, god knows how they did that i have something similar in another coat that is of the same era it's a vintage one it's got the hood and everything yeah. but what else you need in the coat oh, that. isn't that wild it's so love that thing. i love this i my eyes gravitated right to it as soon as i walked in so I was like, this is gorgeous yeah it's so unusual it's i have a separate one another one similar it's got the stripes can you reach that one over this there because that's from the same era and um oh do you see the bottom of this thing oh. look at that how did they do that i don't even know i'm you see that quick. yeah but look at that stripes and it's all this multicolored stripe that's all that's a sheared mink too so yeah. that's like it's um your brother and sister action going on are they the same brand no i think they're both from canada i think that the, the brand is from canada yeah funny because but they came from different people but they're about from the same era shout out canada yeah you do a great job with your coats up there what's your favorite era i actually am a big fan of the 1930s yes. because I like these Charmeuse satin bias cut dresses and okay. bias cut things. I yes. just think that's a really graceful, beautiful look okay. and it's timeless. But you know, obviously I love the 20s where so it's rah rah kind of um, uh, opulence because okay. they were so, you know, yeah. I just like the little all the sequins and the cheap yes, dresses I and love just the sequins. era is very alluring in general yes. you know? so that's always a, a fair thing yes. for sure oh my gosh okay yeah we'll show you guys a little bit around um yeah let's go find your favorite dress all right all right we have the favorite dresses she had them upstairs yes but i gotta i have to unpack them a little bit so you can see it because you can't hardly see them 
Okay. All right, so I've got a few little things, favorites here. Okay. And then I've got a couple of 1920s favorites too. So this is gonna seem a little crazy, me showing you, you know, modern dresses like this Chiara Boney, but I do have a couple of vintage ones. Do you like slips? Do you like little vintage negligees? Isn't that incredible? This is in the most amazing condition. So this is probably from the 40s. Oh my goodness, guys. Oh yeah, yeah, Look yeah, at yeah. This. for real, for real. The work on it, Melissa, is out of this world. The lace on that, and it's really unusual to find something that kind of shape. Gorgeous. Sorry, I stepped away from the camera. That I was going to close the door. No, that's okay. Um, yeah. So those are those are incredible. And it comes with the the robe over top. Sure does. <gasps> Stunning. I I feel like the color isn't showing well, but like this gorgeous baby pink color. Probably wouldn't look great on me, but this is an old 19, probably late 60s, a very movie star glam. But look yes. at this one shoulder action, and you've got these like feathers and rhinestones and it has this goddess look to it that's all this like sh um, yes. sheer um, georgette and these little strandy kind of and it goes all the way down your arm yes oh, isn't that great so it's a one shoulder and it's by this designer um george haley of new york so he's it's just really special and it's in this really unusual color what color do you call that it's like really brown like kind of olive, -y olive -y. Yeah. Isn't that a strange yeah. color for an evening gown? But it's beautiful. That's what fascinates me about that thing. Yeah, it's it just fascinating. So, um, then the other one is, I've got here's another pearl dress that, I tell you what, when I saw this on the hanger, yes. I was not that excited oh, about really? it. But when I put it on, it, it was crazy good looking oh, on. It's by Vicky Teal. Oh, yeah. And it's a vintage red one from, you know, probably like 80s. But this thing sits off your shoulder. It's really fitted in through the bodice. You can tell it's going to fit you nice. And then it has this crazy little cute bustle thing at the back. So it makes your figure look so good. It's so graceful. And this area right here is a little bit see-through. So it's a little bit of a kind of lacy mesh uh, action going on. And then you've got some beads work on it. But honest wow. to God, you have to see this thing on it. We can yes. it on. It's unbelievable. And then this one I was in a, uh, they feature, I featured in a, there was a magazine article in, um, gorgeous. Lexi Mollet was, was the name of the magazine. And so they featured me in this. And so I put that on and I was like, oh my God, I have to buy this thing. So I ended up buying it off the consignor. But this is the Chiara Boni I was telling you about. It's not vintage, but it's a modern brand of, you know, uh, evening wear that I, I happen to like. It's just very smart. Mm -hmm. You can just tell it's going to fit so nice, like the way it's... Yes. Oh, the color too. It's like extra strong uh, Spanx material. Yes. It's like it's like yeah. a... That's it was, it it's almost bulletproof. Like, yes. like a, yeah. <laughs> so it gets everything kind of sucked in good and proper, so that's why I like that dress. But it, at some point you might be able to see those <clears throat> on the other side of uh, the camera. Is the two twenties dresses that I have hanging? Oh, yeah, I have dresses from the eighteen hundreds too upstairs that I keep in my little special stash. In my oh. store stash. So that if there's ever any collectors that really have an interest in Edwardian gowns or Victorian gowns or um, things that are super super old, I have that upstairs. I just don't keep it on the floor because it could get wrecked out here. So can we yeah. see? Yeah, can I can see? I can dig some of that stuff up. It's upstairs, so we'll drag out the tub and show you what we got. Okay. Do you think your uh, viewers would be interested in the old stuff oh, like that? Oh yeah. Really? Oh yeah. Oh, how exciting! From the eighteen hundreds. Yeah. Yeah, I've got this incredible uh, vintage velvet robe, and then uh, from the 1800s, I've got Victorian gown. It's just, it's nuts what I have. Okay, yeah. yeah. We, that would be, yeah, that would be awesome. Really? I'd love to see that. 100%, okay, yeah. Cool. I'll yeah. drag it down. I'll drag the top down. Okay.
<laughs> I've been. Is this I, live? It's not live, but okay. it's live. It's on. What are you doing? Right now? <laughs> you, what is, you're part of this. You're part of, you're we we want to know what you do behind the scenes, back here. What's your job? <laughs> Yes, I do. I do. Yes, Take care of accounts. And yes. Do lots of inventory because everyone's been bringing us so many great things this year. Good. I can't keep up some days, but it's okay. Keep it coming. That's a good problem to have in yeah. here. So, lots and lots of inventory. Um, bookkeeping, just ordering things, just lots of things in the back that an answering weird messages. The just, things that I would be bad at. You're probably that very Quimby, good at. Yeah, and that Quimby, you know, doesn't like to do. Yeah, and I'm fine with doing it. I, I don't yes. mind some grunt work. It's you know. No, okay. that keeps so, you busy. Exactly. And it's it's probably exactly. fun seeing all the new things. I would like Definitely. to see all the new things that come through. Yes, and this year is just it's like every week we get so much coming in, and yeah. then we sell so many great things. And I'm sad to see them go, but then the next week something else comes in. I'm like, oh my god, this is even better than last week. So yes. It's this. This has just been a really bizarre, in a good way, kind of year. Okay. As far as like. All the new people moving here and people yeah, reassessing. Yeah, a lot of people are coming to Florida. Exactly, and they're moving here full time and they're finding a consignment store to work with. So yeah. that's bringing in lots of new consigners. And then people are just kind of reassessing what they want to use yeah. um, and buying things that they're actually gonna use. So we're getting in all those great like seconds, but they're not really seconds. They're yeah. like still incredible. So yeah, yeah that's, it's a lot. I never really thought about it. I've never really had to explain what I do. And you've been here for a, a long time now. Since I was a kid, yeah. So I've been full time at the store probably I guess 11 years since my, 11 my years. son's 12, so about as old as he is. Okay. And, um, I started coming here 10 years ago. Yes. To I'm the other one. The old store. The old exactly. store. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, no, it's it's fun. I mean, every day is different, and that's the best part about consignment is you just never know who you're going to meet and who's going to come in and yeah. bring, bring you great things and buy great things. And no, it's cool. Yeah. It's nice to well, be. thank you. Yay, that was hard. No. You did great. You did <laughs> great. You did great. <laughs> oh, this is incoming. Um, so you so you go through all this stuff. Yes. Yeah, and then it's yeah. this year we've had to use the warehouse, so we'll open the side door and just tons of stuff coming through there. <gasps> so it's kind of we have a couple of processing areas just depending on who's working and how okay. much there is to do and um, what needs to go out first. So okay, so what is new here? Um, we have anything like with names. So you have new batches here. We have new batches here. Um, these are things that we just went through. These are things that we're going to add in. These are things that need to go out on the floor. So people will just come in, bring their things. You uh, take. You do you buy from the spot on the spot, or we you? Do both. You yeah. do both, yeah. okay. So this year we've had to do a lot more buying because okay. we've had um, just so much come in. So space in here is can be kind of tight. Yeah. We don't want the racks to be like super duper full. So we'll buy things in and just kind of hold them in the warehouse. We have a lot of space in the back. Oh, so that's good, then we yeah. we put it out at our own leisure. At your pace. And then we can sign the stuff that we know we can just move from people. Yeah, so, oh, okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, it's been a balancing act this year. <laughs> that's so fun. So yeah, this is all new stuff, guys. And then she'll go through it and I'm guessing you like price it and like figure out yeah, enter in the system yeah, everyone has a, an account and all the items get added into the account yeah i mean it's like the less glamorous side of the business but it's necessary to but i love organized. this side too i love the business yeah. side of everything too yeah. so that's so fun to it's learn cool. It's cool. well thank you yeah, again Done this before you fall. I won't catch you, don't know I'm stolen. Cause you love to have them all crying. Gonna be sweet, day Telling me you need me. But I'm from a city that's high school. I give them the cinema, I go. Cause you a bad man, if she don't love money. She break cries real fast, like can run. When I swim down to the deep end. Wanna know all my secrets, honestly. Can you keep it real close, honestly? I can tell that you're real fond of me. Baby, don't be shy. I can see it in your eyes. I've been running around. Too bad I've been sticking out your mind. I know that I can have a rock from behind. I know you stand it, how you taking all my time. Left, right, can you take it all the time? Too bad I've been sticking out your mind. I know that I can have a rock from behind. I know you stand it, how you taking all my time. Left, right, can you take it all the time? Take it. Get to take it, oh, and maybe when I take it, oh, if 
feel you coming down too strong Cause I want ya, and it's hard to resist cause I need ya And it's hard to be here cause I believe ya Call me tight, hold it on to me But, alright do you want any water, my dear? No, I'm okay. Good? I'm good, thank you. <coughs> we can bring it closer if you think. Yeah. yeah. All right, we have the collection. Yeah, I'm gonna switch sides with yes. you because I might go over there. I might head in this way. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. All right. So, what do we have here? Okay, so I dug around upstairs. I have this area. It's called my secret stash, and it's upstairs. And I keep things uh, up there that maybe are fragile or I don't want to put on the floor. And I show to collectors and things like that. Okay. Literally, stuff goes up there, and I even forget what I have up there. To be honest, so shame on me. But it's usually things that we purchase throughout the throughout the years. Okay. Some of this actually goes back to the original store. There was one such piece that I was telling you about, Melissa, earlier. This one that's like from the 1700s, maybe early 1800s. That's so is cool. crazy. This one we literally dug out of. Um, out of the mud when it was when our shop was flooded, but we had to save this one because it was so cool. So it's this um, beautiful silk velvet. Check out this bell sleeve. It's crazy. Isn't that wild? And then it has all this um, beautiful silk, these wonderful buttons all the way down this waistcoat. Uh, and then it has uh, incredible ecru lace on the bottom of it. But check, just check the crushed velvet and look at this beautiful bustle in the back. Isn't that amazing? So this is a really special piece. I mainly kept this for sentimental reasons that um, I just, I didn't have the heart to throw it in, throw it in the trash. Yeah, no. It probably could be restored, maybe something like that, yeah. but it really needed to be in a museum at one point. But it ended up in the rubble of Audrey's at one time. This is also another beautiful piece. It's in a similar vein that is just, Incredible, but I dare put it out before. So this one is a little the color. Um, isn't that a great color? Check out this beautiful robe. <gasps> Look at the sleeve on that. Isn't that amazing? Oh so this is all ecru lace, and then it's got the lace inlay all through here, and it's this beautiful emerald green. Yes, like, a, like an emerald sap green, and it's probably it says Maison de Ling, and it's uh, Madison Avenue. New York. Uh, New York, yeah. So all this is inset and it's a cool lace and it's just an incredible robe. It's very, very long. Wow. And isn't that amazing? Look, Look at, at the that. bottom. <gasps> Guys, I oh know. My God. Isn't that spectacular? Yeah. So that's awesome. And then I'll have tubs of, say for instance, Edwardian dresses and things like that and Victorian pieces. So for instance, this one is a Victorian <gasps> top. That's which is really so isn't that amazing. Cute. Usually you'll see either Victorian pieces that are just deadpan black and they'll have like a yeah. lot of maybe beading or jet beads on them or something like that. It's unusual to find Victorian items that have a pattern to them. Yeah. And this one's actually in wearable condition. It's very small, but it's Like this looks wearable. like something now. Like yeah, you could cool. wear it now. Like it looks like something you would, like you wouldn't think it was from then. Check out all the buttons are still there too, which is a miracle. Yeah, it's in such And then it's got this lovely little silk uh, inset right there too. It's Isn't that crazy? Gorgeous. Amazing, huh? Yeah. So those are the kind of things I'll have it says. And then like this sort of stuff, like I have a few old, old, old weddings dresses like from Edwardian times so check out the details on that one with all the little pom-poms it's got these little crochet pom-poms on there yeah. and that's your typical kind of Gibson girl uh, a wedding dress yeah or a, or a lawn dress you know, like a tea party yeah. lawn dress or something but um, yeah beautiful work in that one and then the other one I have to show you so you get stuff like this too this ecru lace robe as well wow it's pretty amazing yeah but it's like, how do you display these things? Um, you don't want the dust getting to them. So I kind of store them in acid-free paper and in these sort of tubs that are somewhat airtight. Um, yeah, is that how you keep them? Yeah, acid-free acid free pa paper, paper. acid-free tissue paper. Oh, okay. And layer them in between that and then oh, keep them in a sealed container. Okay. And that does help keep the bugs out and also keeps um, the silk from deteriorating. But check out this. Now, I don't know if, these, if the fur was added later, but this is probably like early 1900s. Isn't that wow. wild? Look at all the materials in the <laughs> You've got your charmeuse, wow. the lace, you've got... Look I mean, at the stitching. Isn't that amazing? You can see. It's, it's the workmanship gorgeous. in it, right? Yeah. They just don't make them like they used to. No. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and then lastly, I mean, I've got a whole, literally a whole tub of this stuff, but this is also a cool piece. Um, and I have a lot of 20s dresses, a lot of 1920s dresses. But have a guess what era this is from. So these the, are the sleeves right here. The, the 40s? And then the older. <gasps> so this is like that mutton chop sleeve that I would try and put on but I got a jacket on. It but is, literally, oh my God. I know it's, it's like a jacket, jacket right? Yeah. Well, you would. they probably like would have worn it. It's a jacket type of, and or they, do you wear it as a, oh They my probably God. would have worn it with this, this in the 20s? front. But, nope. 1900s. Yeah. 
1800s this one. 1800s. Isn't that wild? Yeah. So this was called a mutton chop sleeve. So if you see the cut of this sleeve here, I don't know if you can pick that picture of that. But look at the size of it. It's all this sort of ballooning around the shoulder. And then it comes down really, really, really tight in through the arm there. And then it's topped off with a little bit of uh, hand tatted lace in there. But that, and see again, it's really rare. This one is in great condition. This one, I haven't found any holes in it or anything. But look at the beautiful colors in that. I'm in awe. Look Isn't at the pattern. Amazing? It doesn't look like it would be from the 1800s. Like, uh -huh. you could easily wear this now and yeah. it would look so cute. It's well preserved. Yes. It is really well preserved. So you can see the interior of it has like all this nice seam, seam work in there. So this one, um, is actually, if someone's small enough to fit in, it is actually in wearable condition. But the colors, and it's just like a summertime 1800s um, dress, and it comes with a skirt. It's so funny. Here is its little skirt, which of course they would have worn a lot of crinolines and things like that under. Probably would have had a little bit of a bustle at the back because that was the style then. That's so, incredible. yeah, these are fun. I really should put them on my website, and I, I don't, I yeah. haven't yet, but I should do that. Right? Or you could keep them for your collection. Yeah, right. But I, I would just, keep them. For it's my time collection. to find some homes for these. So, so um, I would I would love for people to find a happy home for a lot of these things. Because uh, look at the bin. So is this all from the 1800s? Yes. Yeah. 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 So that one is probably. Oh, what is this? I don't even know what's. Oh, it's a little jacket. So this would have gone with a dress. It's probably a velvet dress that goes to this in the bottom. But look at the sleeves. The sleeves. Isn't that Get beautiful? Me. Like the sleeves are so gorgeous. And you know what's funny is this is very trendy for right now. Is like, it really? This type of kind of we call it like fairy core. Yeah. So that's like the trendiness that. Let's see if I put it on. Yeah. Let's see what happens because if I take my jacket off, I'm gonna probably get into it. Let's see. Real careful. Ooh, hello. Oh, oh, I do say. Now it looks kind of weird with my um, look at the sleeve on that. It looks kind of weird with um, navy blue underneath it, but like with a nice white, like if you put one of these white dresses underneath yeah. it or something. Oh, there we feel very navy like. A little belt. <laughs> it does. I don't know what that. Yeah, that is a little sash belt. Is yeah. You can probably even wear that around your neck if you want to. Yeah. Oh, that's well. <laughs> So it looks so much better on you. No. Like, so much better on you. No. Um, everything is just gorgeous. I know, a whole tub, right? Of stuff. I mean, I've got tubs and tubs of it upstairs. Yeah. But what else do we have in here? What else is this? Oh my god, I forgot about this one. This is like a trip down memory lane, Melissa. Thank you for having me get these out. <laughs> no, thank you. Oh my word. I forgot about this crazy number. <gasps> what do we have here? Oh, interesting. This. <gasps> that's beautiful. Yeah, that's a nice little silky, charmoussey. Gorgeous. And then this is 1920s, right here. Yeah. You got a, uh, it's like a tabard type dress. So you have a little overlay. You've got this underneath, and then you've got the chiffon. Oh, yeah. Isn't that crazy? That's so cool. And how do you like? Have you ever? went to a thrift store and found like dresses from this age? I have never really been that lucky getting going to thrift stores. No? I have like I'm at the worst like I can't gamble because I lose every time. I don't bet on anything. I don't even do scratch cards. I don't love it. Same thing in the thrift, thrift stores. stores. I've never been good at but it. But that's how you guys started or your mom would yeah, go? Yeah my mom would go. My mom was lucky. Oh okay. yeah. So uh so yeah she was much much luckier uh, than me. Look at that cute little number right there. That's oh my little, gosh. So gorgeous. yeah so I just have to rely on people coming to me coming mostly to bring yeah. me stuff and, and I can okay. you know, buy stuff from them. Yeah. But yeah, I've always That's admired so people that find great things at thrift stores. So yeah, well, it's uh, it's hard for me to like. I'm like, is this vintage? I can usually tell by the tag. Yes. That I can tell if it's like 70s or 80s, but I don't think I've ever found anything earlier than that. Yeah. I might have, and then I was just like, oh, it's probably 70s, 80s, 90s, but maybe I didn't know. Yep. Um, but. It's That's easy to get. It's easy to get um, overwhelmed too when you go into some of those stores because you get punch drunk or just so much, you know, so much to see. Yes. Um, materials are usually give away for me. Like if I go through a rack, I can usually like pick out. Me stuff. too. You know, just from you the can tell, tell like if it's too cheap right now. Yes. Like you can you can completely. I can. Yeah. I've now like mastered that where like I know like okay this is from like the last ten years, 10, 15 years, and it's like yeah cheap material, and then you know when it's a, a better quality. That's right. But uh, that's all we do at Audrey's. Oh. Like we literally all we're doing. Is sorting. Okay. So the, one of the biggest jobs that we do here is editing what comes in the door.
Oh, yeah. Because we call ourselves a curated store, and it's because we don't accept everything that comes through. Okay. So people might bring, uh, I mean, we probably turn away maybe about 80% of what yeah. comes through. And it's not because it's bad merchandise, no. it's not because there's anything necessarily wrong with it. It's just it doesn't fit in with what Your our aesthetic. customers are looking for. Exactly. Your aesthetic, yeah. So, and so we try and keep, you know, keep that, and, and, and we found that Ashley and I both are very good at very quickly kind of going through really immediately yes. and, and, and you know, pulling out what's going to move yeah. for us and what we think isn't. Yeah. And, uh, and it's just years and years of doing that. It's hard to teach, actually. Yes, so, it is. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Um, but it's fun because, because you fun. do you do a good job at making sure you do hit all the sorts of different customers that do come through Thank while you. still being picky. Thank you. Like I can tell because you know my mom comes. Yep. And she always gets one or two things like that she like every time I come she gets something too. Oh good. And yeah. so it's, you're not only hitting those um, age groups but you're hitting me like you're it's all it's everything. That you guys will, have to come. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, because the luxury of having a store that's fairly big, I mean, the space is about 5,000 square feet. Yeah. So the luxury is, is that you can afford to have a bit of variety. So the variety that we try, try and do is we try and hit quality for for a different demographics. Yeah. So we, we have literally three generations of women that routinely come in. Like women will come in, grandmother, mother, daughter. Yes. And they'll come and have a little shopping party. Here. Yeah. And so you want to sort of provide something for each of them, and but we want to have the very nicest value and nicest yeah. product in that genre. Of so course. what's going to appeal to grandma, yeah. you know, what's going to appeal to yeah. mom, what's going to appeal to Even my you. grandma's come here and, and bought something. Yeah. So, like, yeah. Just, like, so that's three generations. Exactly. So that makes sense. Yeah. And it makes it fun too because we have a little tea room area so if somebody wants yes. to sit down and they don't really want to continue shopping, we've got an outdoor area to sit. Yeah. It's, just a, it's just a relaxed kind of uh, event. Yeah. You know, you can come and make a yes. shopping event. Of it, it's so. awesome. Thank well, you. thank you for thank having me today. It's been so much fun. I hope you managed to get plenty of good footage because yes. I know that there's so much oh, to look at. Oh yeah, you it's guys are going to love this video. It's going to be a good one. And I'm sorry the shop might have been a little messier than usual because this time of year we are slammed with so much. But so you guys are busy and that's good. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah. I'm glad. You're a delight. Thank you ever so much. Thank I'm you. really looking forward to seeing your, the videos and I'm looking forward to following you on YouTube and all that good thank stuff. Thank you. Yeah, wonderful. Well, thank you guys. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure to check out Audrey's in Naples. And I love you guys, and I'll, ch I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks. Bye. Bye. <laughs>